Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at two programs that are head to head. We're going to have a look at Adobe After Effects and we're going to have a look at DaVinci Resolve. Now they each have individual features and they each have their own strengths as well as weaknesses. We're going to go and dive in, check them out and see which one you should actually be using to harness the best from the program. So without further ado, let's climb straight into it. So first of all, let us have a look at Adobe After Effects. Now, After Effects is widely recognized as an industry standard for motion graphics and visual effects. This is recognized by tons of people all over the world. So if you're looking to create absolutely stunning animations with intricate effects, this is the absolute go-to software. It also integrates with other Adobe products. That's probably one of its biggest advantages. If you're familiar with Adobe, they've got tons of products such as Premiere Pro, which is a premium video editor. There's Photoshop, which is a photo editing platform, as well as Illustrator. So if you're looking for designs and that kind of thing, Illustrator is the place to be. So it integrates with all of these powerhouses and it allows you to have a smooth workflow, especially if you're using all of the Adobe tools in one suit. It also has an extensive range of plugin support. So After Effects boasts a vast library of plugins and scripts that can enhance your projects as well as streamline your workflow. So if you're in need of advanced effects and specific animations, there is most likely a plugin specifically for your need. It also has powerful animation tools, okay? If you've ever had the opportunity to use it, it has features like keyframing, motion tracking, and 3D composition, and After Effects provides powerful tools for animations, and it's absolutely breathtaking. The results are amazing. So enough about After Effects. Let's check out DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve also is a comprehensive editing suit. Okay, DaVinci Resolve combines professional editing as well as fantastic color correction, which of course is the reason DaVinci Resolve was actually created. Uh, originally, it was a color correction software and it now offers visual effects as well as audio post-production. And this is all in one platform. Okay, so if you're looking for a simplified workflow all in one space, DaVinci Resolve is definitely like the better option. It's got absolute exceptional color grading. As I mentioned, this is um, the thing that DaVinci Resolve is actually renowned for. And one of the great advantages for me, of course, is it has a free version available. So there's no sign up to use DaVinci Resolve, uh, the free version, not the studio version. And you do have sort of limited options. However, that's not like you completely um, have your hands tied behind your back. They still have tons of amazing, amazing features. Actually more features that you could probably even get around to learning. That also have uh, collaborative features. So DaVinci Resolve includes features that support collaboration among multiple users. This makes it fantastic if you have a large team and you want to work on a project in different locations. It's amazing. You can have 10, 20 people working on one project. So if you've got somebody doing your color, someone else doing your motion graphics, whatever the case may be, it's awesome for a team sort of situation. Having a look at these two platforms, right? I'm not going to lie, it's a very, very difficult thing to choose between two powerhouses like this. However, Adobe After Effects, I must just say, in my experience, including all of the Adobe products uh, such as Photoshop and even Premiere Pro, they're very complex and, and the learning curve is absolutely insane. And if you're coming into the video editing scene and you you don't have much experience, after Effects is definitely like an extreme learning curve. When I jumped into DaVinci Resolve, I realized how much easier it is to use it. And um, I mean, I haven't got tons and tons of years of experience in video editing. However, I found that it was way easier to jump into DaVinci Resolve. And in actual fact, I currently use DaVinci Resolve. It's an amazing, absolutely amazing product. 
Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you folks. Go out and create something, people. Peace out.